Yo, it's yours truly, the magnificent DJ Jazzy Jeff. Today, I'm going to show you how I do a remix in Serato Studio. I'm going to remix one of my favorite hip hop records. Props over here by the Beat Nuts. Shout out to the Beat Nuts. Um, and I'm going to show you all of my process of how I do it in Serato Studio. Check it out. So I always start off in Serato Studio when you load it up, it has a drum kit that's already in here. Um, I always use my own drums. And when you make drum kits and you save them, they sit, they're saved in the save deck preset. So I'll just kind of go through and you just drag and drop it on top and you can listen to see the different drums. Pick the one that you want. That's cool. That's not really what I'm trying to do. Let me see right here. Once you find a drum kit that you want, I always start off with the hi-hats. And I basically realized that this is going to be probably around 95, 96 BPMs. So I'm slowing it down to 96. Uh, make sure the click is on. Um, and what I do is I program one bar of hi-hat. So I'll go. So it starts off, the scene is one bar size. And if you click the plus, it goes to two bars. If you click it, it goes to four. So now I have four bars of hi-hats. And then I'm like, okay, I kind of know how I want my kick to go. So. So what I like, I can program with the keys and pads, but I can also step right my drums in. So when if something that I don't like or I want to change, I can just step right it really quick. Okay. So let me add a clap. Hold on, let me do that again. Because when I add my claps, I don't want my claps quantized, so I'll cut quantized off. Because I kind of want my claps to be more human feel. Turn quantized back on. Add the snare. So now that I have a basic beat program, then you go to click add a sample. I went through a whole bunch of samples, found a sample that I like. You grab the sample and drop it in. Now, Serato Studio automatically chops it up for you, which I don't want. So I kind of go in here and erase all of my chops because I want to make my own. I just really want the first chop. So as long as the first chop is kind of on. Okay, so now I chop it. That was a good one. Now this. Now this seems like a little skip in here, so I'm gonna add that in here. So now what you have to do is I play it with the beat just to make sure that everything is pretty much on. So I play the beat. So you know what, I'm just gonna record it. So now, it might be a little bit off, so let me zoom and make sure that I extend all of these to the right length. And then you just kind of can go in and nudge it, because it seemed a little rush. So let me slow both of these down 1%.
and another another trick if you if you go over a note and you hold down the command key it shows you the velocity of all of these so i kind of like all my samples to pretty much be 127 as loud as it can be now i could even slow this down to two percent just to make sure Yep. So now that I have one pattern, then you go where it says intro, you go to the next one. It gives you two options to copy or make it empty. I want to copy. And this is when I just started adding drum fills. So I want to do something a little bit different with the kick. So if I just that fill. So that's one with a fill. So now go back. I copy it to the third one because I want to add another fill. Just different variations. So that's two different variations of that. Now what I want to do is I want to add the second part of the sample. So I copy it. And then you go to the sample and then you can hit select all and delete it. So now I get a chance. So just record it. Same thing. So same thing, I need to go back and probably slow these down a little bit. Back that up to get the whole piece. Same thing. So now that I have that second part, you want to add the third part, which is this one. So the same thing, select all, delete. Ah, you know what? I want to do something else. So I want to start with the first part. Because I wanted to end with the flutes. Check it. So now I have five drum parts. I have the intro, I have one with a fill, one with an extra fill, and then I have what I would consider the hook part. So now that I have all of this, then what I love is then I click over the song view, and if I play the song view, so I know this is how I wanna start it. So on the third pattern is where I would love the vocals to come in. So now you click the audio track and you basically grab the acapella of the beat nuts and you pull it in. Make sure you cut sync off. I want it to start hey, hey, you with the hey. Hey, 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 you ain't really you. Hey, 
Okay, so now what I can do is I'll scroll all the way to the end. I'll scroll all the way to the end and nudge this in because then you want to kind of see where you at in the song. And I want to just put that, hey, and I'm not sure if this is in the right spot. You zoom out so you know, hey, would kind of come a little bit. So let me see. Hey, you ain't really you and you ain't really down. Put yeah. some time to see your fucking folding face around. Okay. So now I can zoom out a little bit more just to see what I got. Hey, you ain't really you and you ain't really down. Yeah. Put some time to see your fucking folding face around. Cause we're to sit back and think back. Now what I can do is you can zoom out in the top window and slide the hay back and this is more for Phil. Hey, you ain't really you and you ain't really down. Put yeah. some time to see your fucking folded face around. Yeah. Cause when I sit and back, then it's really me. And make me react, you be at my fucking jammy. No, I don't cry. Arranging the song the super, on the fly. Six packs and then I do her. But she gets stuck yeah. on, crowing like a cat. And cause the girls got sucked yeah. on. She don't know how to act. Back in the days, I guess 237. You used to run with Kevin, bagging hoes was like heaven. 11 years later, I try to hide and hope they pass me. Like I'm the boss side. Just let me pop and lounge with my niggas. Don't have no time to fake funk with triggers. Don't believe in kids with that puss cat sin. Fuck around with fashion and get your whole shit bent. Now, what I like that I can do is when I go to the acapella, crazy. if I start this, hey, you ain't really you and you ain't really down. Put some time to see your fucking phony face around. Now, whenever I sit back and think back of how you plan me and make me react, you be at my fucking jammy. No, I don't cry. So then you can just add that slice in. Hey, you ain't really you. Seen your fucking folded face around. Cause when I sit back and think back of how you plan me and make me react, you be at my fucking jammy. No, I don't cry. Throw my mind's in the super. I just kick back in the day. I don't cry. Throw my mind's in the super. I just kick back with six packs and then I do her. But she gets stuck on, clawing like a cat and cause the post got stuck. She don't know how to act Back in the days I guess 237 Used to run with Kevin Back in holes was like heaven 11 years later I try to hide And hope they pass me by Like I'm the far side Just let me pop And lounge with my niggas Don't have no time To fake funk with triggers Don't believe in kids With that puss cat sin. Fuck around with passion Get your whole shit bent Spent crazy years With the blues Pagan dudes Before I met the psychos In the junkyard juice But now the crew can find That we can't be stopped around the globe to collect our props. When I'm in New York, you know what I want to hear. Yeah, you get props over here. Come on, out in Cali, you know what I want to hear. Yeah, you get props over here. When I'm down in Detroit, you know what I want to hear. Yeah, you get props over here. And when I'm out in Philly, you know what I want to hear. Yeah, you get props over here. So this part right here, during his vocals, I want to cut the sample out so I know that scene too. So if I go to scene two and copy scene two to scene four, and then if I look at scene four, I know I want to cut the vocals out pretty much here. So if I play it, and then I can double click and name it dropout. And then put the dropout scene right here. So now if you play it in the track. Sure, unlike others wanna pop, use a piss drop, talking that shit, you need to stop. Cause when I approach you and you can't back up what you said, oh my. fly you fucking head no, like that. Letter, you know know what I wanna hear. And see you're doing all of this on the fly. So you really just build the song up yeah. until the end. So it's funny, like you're pretty much arranging this on the fly and putting everything where it needs to go and it butts up against each other. Um, and then I put the hook in, like you almost are doing it because you know where it goes. I want the hook to double on the outro and put that in and then put just a scene in to kind of go out. And everything is pretty much in here. And it all locks together. Hey, you ain't really you and you ain't really down. Put some time to see your fucking folded face. 
once you have the whole song in and you get it how you want it, you know, I click my master, it shows me everything that's here. You can go up and say, I wanna export the song. You wanna export it as waves or MP3. Uh, MP3 save time. Waves uh, sound a lot more beefier and chunkier, um, but you can pick it. So I can say, I want to save this as an MP3. Save it, it bounce. Guess what I'm playing in the club tonight? So listen, Serato Studio, if you are trying to remix, make a beat, do anything, this is the fastest, most efficient program that I've ever used of getting your ideas out. Like, that was literally 15 minutes, knocked out a remix, I'm gonna play it tonight. People gonna say, hey Jeff, where you get that from? And I'm like, hey, I made it, Serato Studio. Shout out to Serato Studio, much love and appreciation, I'm out.